Hey, Karina here. I just wanted to jump on here for the Friday Kickstart and talk to you about something that is very common and it makes me so sad, but it's so true. Uh, the reason, the top three reasons that online stores fail. And I'm going to go into one thing this week, and this, this is going to be a three-part series. So you're going to have to hang with me for the, the next three weeks to hear all of it. The number one reason that I'm going to talk about is wrong buying decisions. So you can imagine, right, that wrong buying decisions can completely take you out. If you're buying bad styles, bad products, that can waste your money. It can create a lack of focus for your store. And also having too many categories is going to confuse your customers. So what you need to do is stay super focused. When you sell online, you have to have as few categories as possible on your store. You don't want your customers to hit your site and there are 15 categories and they have to dig through and try to figure out where to go to even shop. So that is one thing. You want to make sure that you have the right inventory. So you need to decide who your customer is, who you're selling to, and what type of things they'll buy. So let's say it's women and they're 35 to 55 and you're selling clothing. What type of clothing will those women wear? The second thing is, you know, obviously if you buy the wrong inventory, you're going to waste your money. So let's say you only have $1,000 to get started and you spend that $1,000 buying product off Alibaba and it's like horrible quality and it comes with no tags in it. Or let's say you're doing, um, you're selling maybe accessories or you're selling um, uh, even drinkware, home goods, anything like that. If you make a bad decision with your first purchase, imagine how that could derail you because then you're stuck with all this product that you can't get rid of. And that can really, not only can it waste your money, but it can hurt your momentum, right? Because who's going to feel good about their business if their first, you know, purchase out of the gate is the, the wrong one, you know, is bad product, right? And then you're stuck and you're frantically trying to sell it so that you can get your money back. Um, and your morale will just go completely down. So that is number one, is wrong buying decisions. Um, I want you to think about when you're starting an online store, you need to stay super focused and you need to keep your categories to a minimum. Really, you wanna have no more than three categories. So uh, think on that one, right? I want you to think about that. And next week, we're going to go over the next, we've got two more things, two more things that will just totally derail you if you're opening an online store. So I want you to avoid these, these next two things. And I will tell you about the next one on next Friday's Kickstarter. So I will see you then.